Some people think that you're not a makeup artist because they say your makeup doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's three main reasons why people think this. At least this is my opinion. Number one, I don't even know how to use a filter or beauty mode or any of that. We are all societally so conditioned, and I don't mean this in a degrading way, to look at people on screen that have been filtered or photoshopped. Two things of which you will never ever see on our channels, You think ever. people are looking for you to be perfect? People are looking for me to be perfect. The next piece, if you're out for like 10 hours and you don't reapply your concealer and it rained and you have some flaking of your mascara and you're in store, I have two choices. Am I gonna keep filming or am I gonna go waste time touching up and create Creating a false illusion of perfection that no one's ever gonna actually be able to attain 24 mm -hmm. 7. Third, sometimes I'm evaluating a new product and I don't know how it's gonna perform. You yeah. have to test the wear, <laughs> but you can't just put it through a wear test while you're sitting in a bubble in your house with perfect lighting. You have to go out and test it as you would in your normal environment. And oftentimes while I am making content, I'm actively evaluating a product and I can tell, oh, not for me. How am I gonna then educate around that? What happened? And usually I'm doing it in a way that's comparative. So I don't put the best suited, best look on every single day, then I'd be a giant hypocrite who's sitting here telling you to explore and self-express, but I'd only wear browns and neutrals. <laughs> <laughs> There's many reasons you'll never see me in just brown eyeshadow. I'm sorry, even though that looks the best on me and you'll never see me in a filter. So I'm sorry you don't like my blue eyeshadow, but if I don't try it out, I can't actually tell you whether or not it's gonna be a good product for you to check out. So bye-bye trolls. That's my love letter to the trolls.